I got asked this question a little while ago. How do I sync my Google contacts with my cell phone contacts? I'm going to show you what you can do in this video and give you my recommendation. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all this content for you. So first of all, if you go and look at my contacts and you look at groups, the groups are going to show you what uh, um, accounts I have connected to my cell phone. My TLB Burris is my Google Workspace account. My SCORE is my volunteer account, which also happens to be a Google Workspace account. Global address list and global address list, that will pull uh, the address list from the business domains associated with TLB Business or SCORE. But I don't use those. So I just use my own context. Now, how do I get another account in here? So go out of here, go to settings, go to settings right here, go to contacts. You can go to contacts or mail or calendar and you can hit um, accounts. Now, again, there's the, uh, I have iCloud, but it's not, it's inactive. So I'm not using iCloud for anything on this cell phone. Here's my NC Wise Man. I'm just using it for mail. My TLB business, mail, contacts, and calendar. Score, mail, contacts, and calendar. Now I'm gonna add a new account. Watch this, add, go to Google, hit continue if it comes up, otherwise you gotta type it all in manually. I'm gonna select BCI testing. Now, it already knows my password because I already typed that in a little while ago when I was testing this, but you may have to type in your password. Now. When I add this Gmail account, I have to make a decision what I want to display. So this is my um, my Google Works, my Gmail testing account. I don't need my calendar. I just want to show you contacts, and I, maybe I'll show you mail. So I add, hit that, and hit save. Now there's one more thing I need to do here. If you'll notice, it says Gmail mail and contacts. I need to rename that. If I click on that, I click on the account. And where it says description, that's where it's pulling Gmail. I need to put BCI testing because that's the only thing I see after beyond this screen. And now hit done. Now hit, I can come out of this, come all the way out. Now if I go to my contacts, which is right here, I hit groups. Notice I have all TLB business. I have all score I have the two global address lists associated with TLB business and score and then I have the BCI testing Gmail which is just all by itself as a Gmail account it doesn't have a global address list so I could decide if I want to which ones I want to display let me hit that these are all the fake accounts that I set up for this testing account but watch what happens when I go back to groups and I say show me my business as well and hit done so that fake account is intermingled. There's other fake accounts intermingled into real accounts. Now, how does that happen? Let me come back out of this. Let me go to contacts, settings. A couple of things that are worth understanding uh, for contacts. And that is under contacts, right here under settings, you can see I have my sort order, first, last, and I display order, first, last. I don't know which what, what's the difference between the two. But look, my two things that are important. First of all, my default account is TLB Business. What that means is every new contact that I add through my cell phone, I want to put it in that contact bucket for my TLB Business Google Workspace account. So understand uh, what's the display order and understand what your default is. My recommendation would be to put all of your new contacts into your Gmail account. Furthermore, I would go into your your um, your cell phone contacts wherever you can get to that, whether it's an out through the Apple site or through uh, Android or whatever. Export those out and import those into your Google or your Gmail account, and then get rid of your cell phone contacts because as long as they're in your Google contacts and you don't lose them there, you can lose your cell phone and it won't be a problem. I'm Teddy your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope this is helpful for you.